Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another edition of the Damn Music Show. I'm Michael Wagner. This is Darren Droyowitz. Uh, sweet. I'm a pretty big fan of the artist we're going to do. I guess, like, a moderate fan. Like, I like his stuff. I don't listen to it all the time. You might want to say who it is. But I enjoy it. Darren, yeah. why don't you tell everybody it who is it Bruno is? It is Bruno Mars. And it's funny Bruno. because we, don't, we do not rehearse this. I was going to ask you before we react to Bruno Mars and who's the other dude? Yeah. Uh, Anderson Pack. I, I don't know him. So, yeah. but anyway, Bruno Mars. I was going to ask, stop you, and ask you how you feel about Bruno Mars because I, I he like gets Bruno. made fun of a lot. I like and Bruno. I, I have to wonder why. I also agree. Of. Why? Huh? Like, Do you know why? why? I don't know. I think he's a really good entertainer, and like, I think he like puts it all on the line. I like his songs. I like his singing. I like him. I like well, his stuff. Whether you like it or not, you have to admit he has an amazing voice. Right? Agree. Big range. Agree. And Agree. he plays drums. He Agree. plays guitar. Agree. He plays a lot of different stuff. Agree. I don't know. I here's my theory. I think he he makes it look so easy. Yeah. That people don't think that he puts a lot of effort. I in. think he's That's like the, my guess. I think he's like almost like the MJ of today. Like I think yeah. he's really talented. I think he's very talented. He's I think better. He's, he's better than Michael. I, I think there are areas where I would agree. I don't know if he's better. He's, I mean, Michael. He's was, a better musician. Michael was good. So Aside scale, from Michael everything else with Michael, let's just stick with just Michael. Yeah. Uh, Michael was real good uh, as like a writer, uh, an, an entertainer, an amazing, amazing show. But yeah, as a as opposed to like musicianship, Prince. Let's just go with Prince. And I would say Prince is in his own category. Right, Prince lives in a different. celestial abode well, in also, another world. Bruno works a lot with Mark Ronson, and I True. feel like there's some a lot of Mark Ronson haters too out there, and I don't. Oh, I think there's a lot of haters in the world, period. And and, <laughs> and if you're going to hate on Bruno Mars... I just I, know why you do and yeah. you're not like Bruno. I think one of my favorite things that you said, though, is like, I, I, I want to find the person out there that when you said, we don't script this, that goes, no way. Y'all, yes. No way. I swear y'all script it. <laughs> well, here's, here's what I would say about Bruno. His music is not my cup of tea. Yeah. But he's got a couple of songs I like. Um, but I think his talent is just, he's top of the game in pop yeah. music today. Yeah, I, I think, think he's on great. The, on the, I, Gaga is top of the music on the women's side. I think yeah. Bruno Mars is top of the game on the, on the pop well, side. Well, let's give it a listen and see, yeah. what, uh, see what he's up to. Yeah. Uh, this is like uh, his new outfit. Yeah. Let's give it a go. It's always I got you. I'm turning it up. Oh, very, very white. That's great. I mean, come on. <laughs> Get it. We got like a chamois skin on the ground. <laughs> it's it's a man. disco ball going. Get it. Oh, I got a pass. Wow. I love okay. that. Yeah. I mean, come on. The falsetto. I, I'm serious. Oh. I don't think Bruno Mars knows what year it is. I don't I think I lives in the 70s. I don't think Bruno Mars cares what year it is. Uh, he has a clothing line, I think, that he's dropping that's 70s inspired. I just really? like read an article on it. It's, it's like 1976 a whole, in his world. Yeah. Life. So like this whole outfit is being launched with a clothing line. Oh, really? Like, yeah. And this oh. is maybe why people oh. hate Bruno Mars. So like I can imagine a lot of people that would like hate that concept. Like, oh, nice. You created a whole genre and you're going to have like your new like Bruno Adidas that you're going to wear out well, to the disco. Well, we talked about this on the last couple of months. I think it's of, brilliant. An episode. There's, retro is really, really in right now. He's going to crush retro. Look at him. He's just like so natural. That stash. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That stash is literally 30 years old. And yeah. he's not even 30. No, he is 30. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is... Uh... I feel like we're listening to the Commodores or something. Yeah, I, I definitely feel like this is going to show up on one of those sites that you visit when you're an adult. Yes. <laughs> let's let's keep oh, listening. <laughs> what is, so this song is I'm going to leave that door. God, it's so, he's gonna, it took me off guard. I feel like I'm watching a Michelob 
I, full, I, uh, you know, like a Lowenbrow commercial from the 1970s I or something. I couldn't agree. But uh, <laughs> leave the door open. Is that what? Is that what's up? Yes. He's gonna have like the throwback cans in brown yes. with the no rim. Remember, That's ladies' amazing. man on Saturday Night Live. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 He's got your I feel like he needs yeah. his Carvarkier on this, right? <laughs> Let's keep going. Oh, it's it. a lady. <laughs> oh, it's a lady. Sway with it. Oh, baby, don't keep me waiting. There's so much love we could be making. Come on, those are some lovely honeys. Cuddling, come on, those fiddles in the pants. It's beautiful. Solid. So solid. I love it. it it's fun. Cool. It's fun. They even have a disco light. I feel like Dirk Diggler is going to show up. <laughs> The boogie nights, the boogie nights. He even bounces around like Stevie Wonder. Dude, I mean, he's got the vibes, and it's real for sure. He playing, he's singing. I love the that harmony. drop. I'm the right. harmony is yeah. fire. I don't know what's more impressive, the singing or the girl singing. <laughs> I, I think the band is pretty, yeah. pretty wild. I mean, they're they're doing it yeah. with precision. Okay. In and out. That was short and sweet. I don't think it was that short. It was four minutes. Seriously? Yeah. Oh man, we I just always burned get caught off guard by this. All right, man, I, I love I, it. Whatever. I don't know if I'd is, listen is, to it Bruno a ton, but born in the wrong decade, or is he born in the right decade to you know pay homage? He's definitely born in past. the right decade to pay homage. I would say. I mean, yeah. Um, I mean, his talent is fantastic. I like, yeah. ugh, man, I'm going to catch a lot of like weekend haters right now, but like, if you put Bruno Mars and The Weeknd side by side, like, oh, yeah. Come on. Like, that's they're not, not even the same type of artist. They're like, not. And yeah. that's what's like, you know, let's yeah. go ahead and separate those two. But like, Bruno's like, he on it, man. Here's, like, here's what makes him different living in this world is a lot of people go this retro route and I think it's a way as a gimmick as a marketing thing. He I seems feel like very authentic. for him it's I pretty agree. it's pretty authentic. I agree. It feels very I, real. I, I think this is how he walked around looking all the time. Yeah, and probably feeling comfortable too. Yeah. And that's what it's about. It's about like not just that's the way he walks around looking. He did it because he's like, man, that's this his, is just how his, I feel the most comfortable. That's his spirit. That's, that's know, him. Lenny Kravitz I think he walks around all the time with the mood pants on. Agree, you know, dude. He's got that agree. rock vibe. I mean, Prince it comes easy to like, him. Like, and I think, agree. I think Bruno has this seventies chill. Agree. Uh, it's like, like, to like him. nobody would like like uh, rip on Prince for wearing purple and okay. felt like he. They just be like, yeah, yeah, that's Prince. Like that's Prince. Like yeah, that's yeah, just yeah. Bruno. Like, and, and, I don't and Bruno's mean to make it always just been like going this route more and more. Yeah. I think he just fully found it. And he's like, oh, right. this is it. And then he's like, this is the Kurt shirt I want. This is the clothes. So he made his own clothing right. line. He's like, that's that's and me. It's not, it's not even just about the clothes. I mean, look at that. How old is that organ that he's playing there? They, Everything. They, all they, the mics too. All the setup. Uh, yeah. Although the production was very clean. That was that was that was pretty yeah. new, pretty modern. But it was surprising me. I was like, hey, if you gonna do it, you know, like. 
trash it out. You know, make it like they'll make it. Maybe they should do it on like compromise. That that was. I didn't feel like there was a. Yeah, that's what happened for sure. Because that to me didn't feel like a lot of compromise. It felt like they used maybe the old microphones Mm. and some of some of the stuff, but they didn't really make it very tape centric. But even the drums is a minimal setup, right? It's just like yeah, but the way they tracked it, the way he kicking a a snare. Agreed. The way he played it was very minimal. But the way it was tracked was very clean, very, very modern. They did have the master very quiet, which surprises me. Hmm. Uh, usually they just boost the heck out of that. It's super loud. So regardless, that was fun. I liked it. I'm yeah, not going to put it on my playlist a lot. I'll tell yeah. you, when I have like a, a Boogie Nights inspired theme okay. at our party theme at our house, I'm putting on the whole, the whole track, yeah. uh, uh, Bruno. I'm playing the whole thing, Anderson. We're going yeah. to just put it on. With, it's the Boogie Nights. And the yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, again, I, it, Bruno's not, I think the song that it, uh, I like the most because it's called Runaway. Run, run, run away, which is really, mm-hmm. you know, that's got a groove to it there. This, this, they're in the pocket, you know. Oh, it's um, like. But the harmony is really... It's also very uh, difficult music. They were modulating a lot and shifting uh, back and forth between keys. and It was yes. cool. Like They were making some real subtle, difficult adjustments. This, this was my point earlier, too. I think these got him, but all of them are very technical yeah musicians. and i think he but finally the, said fudge it, i want to do it i'm going to make a whole new outfit and i'm going to do it and i'm right. going to like i want to i want to be more creative than i'm limited over here yeah. so let me make this new outfit and i can be i can be a little more free yeah and but he makes the other technical things that you just laid out look effortless makes, look so effortless easy. especially the singing over those chord changes is really difficult yes and, and with those harmonies oh beautiful so yeah, so well done bruno i agree and uh, i'm sorry the anderson pack yeah, absolutely. Really enjoyed it. Uh, if you got any things to comment on, if you agree with us, disagree with us, want to fill us in, information, things you might know more about Bruno and this new, what is it, Sonic, Soft Sonic, Sonic Felt, Sonic Smooth, Sonic Twist, Smooth Sonic, Sonic Driving, something about Sonic, Sonic yeah. Tater Tots, uh, please <laughs> let us know. I really enjoyed it. Uh, we're the Damn Music Show. I'm Michael Wadden. This is Darren Drewitz. Smash that subscribe. Send us your friends. Follow along. We appreciate you guys. We'll keep cranking yep. them out. See you in the next video. Cheers.